Hi YouTube, uh, I actually just finished building a computer that's a Hackintosh, as in it's a custom built PC um, running Mac OS X. And so here it is, um, and this video will kind of be a description of it, I'll take you through all the parts and I'll show you basically how it was all put together. This one is for the geeks. Um, so here's the outside of the case. It's an Antec 300. It's got a couple front panel switches. You see we got two USB 2.0 ports here. Uh, we've got a mic in, uh, and a Realtek HDA audio out, uh, reset button, power on button. Uh, and right here we've got a 24X um, DVD RW CD writer, um, the Sony OptiArc. And then down here we've just got an older one, uh, just a DVD reader and a CD reader. Um, all right. So you can see in the back here we got a lot of um, I/O panel, uh, a lot of I/O panels. Uh, you see we've got two USB 2.0 here. These are the gigabyte powered on USB. So even if the computer's off, I can always uh, charge something. Um, keyboard and mouse uh, adapter a VGA port, this is using onboard graphics, a DVI port, also onboard graphics, an HDMI port, also onboard graphics, SPDIF, that's uh, an SPDIF out. We've got two USB 3.0 ports when they finally come, if they ever do come, USB 3.0. Uh, we've got one Ethernet port uh, for internet, um, and another two powered USB ports. And in terms of audio, we've got one for a mic here, just like we had on the front, uh, one for uh, HDA out, um, and then one for um, another mic. And so here, now, we're getting into the PCI expansion stuff. Um, this is uh, a PCI I.O. card with three antenna, and um, it's going to be the Wi-Fi card. I, have, I haven't got it working yet, but I will. Uh, I'll update. Here we've got my graphics card I.O. Um, that's uh, DVI right here, VGA and HDMI uh, ventilation unit for my graphics card. And finally my other graphics card, um, two VGA and one uh, TV out. And then finally down here we've got a Corsair CX430W power supply. So now let's open it up. Here we go. So here is the inside of uh, inside the Antec 300. We've got all the parts. All right. So first, let's start with the motherboard. It's the Gigabyte GA Z68A D3H B3. Um, I know it's a mouthful. It's it's uh, Nvidia SLI and ATI Crossfire X ready. Um, so you can bridge some graphics cards. And with this motherboard, we've got an Intel Core i3-2125 processor. Uh, I'm using the stock Intel cooler because um, it's, it's fine for what I need the system for. So we've got 16 gigabytes of RAM in all, two 4 gig sticks of Corsair XMS3, and two 4 gig sticks of G-Skill Rip Jaws. Thank you, Ben Edelman, for the Rip Jaws. Uh, also, Here's the Wi-Fi card. Uh, it's a PCI I.O. card, and then in there is a laptop card pulled from a MacBook 2009. Thank you, Sophia Saudi. Here is one of my pride and joys. It's a Palette GeForce GTS 250, um, and it's my uh, one gigabyte graphics card, um, GDDR3, and it is very fast, and it is very powerful. 
And right under here is an NVIDIA GeForce 8600 GT 256 megabytes. Uh, thank you, Tom Fredigan. This is a huge help. Uh, I am SLIing it with my Palette GeForce GTS 250. And down here, we've got a uh, Corsair CX430 Builders Series power supply. Um, it, it's doing fine so far, uh, and it actually and it works pretty nicely. And then finally, down here is the hard drive, and this is a 320 gigabyte Western Digital WD Scorpio Blue. Thank you, Larissa Arcondo. It's a huge help. Um, and that is pretty much the inside of my system. So let's uh, turn it on. So uh, here's the computer, and we're just about ready to turn it on. Let me just tell you what I got on the uh, desktop here. Um, I have got an Acer eMachines E180 HV 19-inch monitor, which is a surprisingly decent monitor and also really cheap. And I've got um, this uh, right here, the Apple keyboard and the uh, Apple original mouse. Um, all right, so let's hit the power button here. This thing's actually quite a quiet machine. It's pretty nice. Uh, so we'll see here pretty soon. The uh, NVIDIA card is just about to start outputting. There we go. Um, so we're getting the NVIDIA BIOS. And uh, so here we are. This is the Gigabyte BIOS now. It's just loading up all the uh, hard disk and the disk drive. Um, and here we go. It's loading. So pretty soon we're going to see um, Chimera, the Chimera bootloader, which was made by uh, Tony Mac X86 and MacMan. Thank you so much for them because they are incredible, and they have allowed so many people to do the hack to Hackintosh stuff. Uh, I actually made this with a uh, Unibeast Lion flash drive. So here's Chimera. I just stopped it for a second. Uh, you can see I'm using uh, Chimera 1.7.0. Uh, there's a 1.8.0 upgrade now, which I'm going to upgrade to later today. So here we go. I'm booting into Lion now. I mean, I got the Apple screen. Unfortunately, uh, there is no da sound that you get when typical Apple computers boot up. Um, I, th I think there's some way to fix it, but it it involves like a whole afternoon and lots of money just for a da. I mean, I would do it if I was rich, but I'm not. So, and here we go. Lion loads really quickly um, after that uh, Apple screen, and I've got my user account right here. I'm just gonna enter it, and bam, the the GTS GeForce GTS 250 does its work here because it is mission control is so fast, and and uh, you can see here, Launchpad also loads really quickly. All the Lion Core animations work fine. See app switching to the dashboard. Um, and it all works perfectly, and the system itself is stays completely quiet. So now let's get on the screen here, and I'm going to run you through Cinebench uh, and Geekbench, um, and I'll show you my scores. All right, inside the Hackintosh here, and I'm just going to take us right over to Cinebench to test out this graphics card. Uh, so it actually might be a little bit slower. I was getting around um, 30 and a half frames per second before on OpenGL. Um, you see here, let's go to OpenGL. Yeah, um, I was getting 30.37 frames per second, but I'll just run it again here and take a look at how it goes. Here we go. OpenGL is running. Preparing. All right, preparing. Um, so uh, let's just wait for that. Yeah, all right, so I just finished that round of um, Cinebench testing, and you can see we're at around 25.80 frames per second, but I also had uh, QuickTime and a couple other apps open during that time, so 30.37 is probably what you're going to expect with this system, which is not bad, but not amazing. Actually, it's quite good. Um, all right, so let's get out of Cinebench right now. Yes. No. Um, and we can just go right over here now to... Um, Geekbench. There's Geekbench. Whoops, sorry. Geekbench, and we can just get that Geekbench score. 
This is only 32-bit because I'm poor and I don't have the trial mode. Um, all right, so uh, I'm just going to run that and get back to you. I just finished that uh, Geekbench testing. You can see here uh, we've got a score of 7143, but keep in mind this is only 32-bit, uh, not 64-bit. Um, and, yeah, here's all my Geekbench stats here. Not, not too bad. Um, not fabulous, but not too bad. As a matter of fact, it's quite good. Um, and I'm just gonna upload that. Okay. Um, I've uploaded my results. If you want to take a look at them, there's a link. Yeah. Um, okay. And now, finally, let's see what else was I gonna do. So I have it set uh, in the SM BIOS, uh, set by Multi Beast as an early 2008 Mac Pro. Um, just so. App, uh, the uh, software doesn't throttle any of my components. Um, got a 3.31 gigahertz Intel Core i3. Um, it's listed my 16 gigabyte 1333 megahertz DDR3 RAM, uh, and my GeForce GTS 250 1024 megabytes serial number, um, and I've got Lion 10.7.3, um, and it's got my 180 HP display, and I've got a 320 gigabyte uh, SATA disk. For storage and my four gigabytes uh, at four times four gigabytes of RAM so there we go that is my Hackintosh thank you for watching thanks for watching this video please rate comment and subscribe we hope you enjoyed it and that it was informational uh, and we would love for you to rate comment and subscribe wouldn't we Hackintosh yes we would yeah we would thank you for watching have a good day